Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. Have you heard about life cycle inventory analysis? What are the basics of life cycle inventory analysis? And what are the data aggregation units? How are we going to present the inventory result? Worry not, because all of these are going to be covered throughout this video. As for the first part, it is basics. We are going to look at the scientific principle of LCIE. ISO Standard 14040 define life cycle inventory or LCI as the phase of life cycle assessment involving the compilation and it is also the quantification of inputs and outputs for a product throughout its entire life cycle. LCI or life cycle inventory in its scientific part by and large is based on the following laws of nature which is the first one is the conservation of mass. The second one is the conservation of energy which is the first principle of thermodynamics. And the next one is increase of entropy which is the second principle of thermodynamics and as for the last one, it is based on the principle of stoichiometry which is the basis for all chemical reactions. And the next one is we're going to look on the literature on fundamentals of the inventory analysis. Since October 2006, LCI has become part of ISO 14040. Regional guideline and standard elaborated in Scandinavia in the US, USA, France, and Canada. Scandinavian guidelines shows that it is documented in the Nordic Guidelines on Life Cycle Assessment and it is further elaborated in the Danish EDIP program. The original German version of the monograph and textbook and it is said by Okobilans. And LCA contains some official variants of LCA which are typical for Germany. The next one is the unit process as the smallest cell of LCI. There are two parts under the unit process of the small cell of LCI which is the first one is the integration into system flow chart and the next one is balancing. As we can see here, this is the linear section of a system flow chart. We can see that it is in a linear form. The next one is a schematic illustration of a unit process which is without the co-product. As we can see in the diagram, it shows that how the raw material or the pre-product is the input and it emits the product or the material which is the output and it undergoes the unit process M. And the next one is balancing. A complete energy and mass assessment which is the input and output should be conducted for every unit process. As for data procured in the factory primary data it is sometimes called foreground data and it can be combined. An operational input output analysis or bit taken from it as the same data and it is required at the process level. However, an operational input output analysis does not require an allocation of inventory parameters to particular products. Right here we can see the balancing process where the materials, the pre-product and, mater uh, and other materials will undergo the unit process and it will produce the intermediate product. And for the fourth subtopic of this chapter, it is the flow chart. Flow chart. In each part of the flow chart represents a unit process that requires full attention from the LCA expert. The real flow chart always produces branches and there are two fundamental process types. The first one is multi-input and multi-output process, and it can be distinguished. Uh, the first one is several materials, pre-product and intermediate products and so on. It can enter the main chain by a unit process. This is called the multi-input process. And the second one is a unit process yield several usable products, of which the only one is further processed within the product system, which is the multi-output process. We can see uh, in the next diagram here. The pre-product will uh, produce co-product A and co-product B as well as intermediate product and this is the multi-output process. 
as for the other one, uh, we can see in uh, at A, it is uh, shown that there are allocation uh, required and in at case B, it shows the system expansion. The fifth subtopic is data aggregation and unit. As for the first one, we should know that the simplest data aggregation is the addition of homogeneous inputs and outputs. The data are so standardized so that all unit process refer to the selected functional unit and the reference flow. It is also recommended to consult the code of LCI practice and the global shonen guiding principle and it only use metric units and some other specific some other units which are specified in ISO 1000. Uh, some of the metric units or the SI units are meter, kilogram, kelvin, second, and so on. In the LCI, weighting or valuating aggregation are to be avoided. It shows that the same category belongs to the conventional aggregation per mass, sum of all mass movement inclusive of spoils, and it is called Mass Intensive Per Service Unit or MIPS. MIPS cut off small mass flows and therefore the common trace emissions according to the motor megatons and not nanograms. MIPS has the advantage of a higher clarity. Mass versus energy captured in the colloquial expression ecological backpack, which is the MIPS. And for the last one is the presentation of inventory result. The goal and scope definition including all assumptions and views which is the functional units, system boundaries and so on must not be missing from the presentation of inventory result. The interpretation with the discussion must follow. And it, is, it should be illustrated where the data quality and statement show a reason, reasonable relationship. And this will be achieved by sensitivity analysis. Okay, we are coming to the end, so it's quiz time. The first question is, how does the ISO standard 14040 define life cycle inventory? Do you know it or do you not know it? ISO standard 14040 defines life cycle inventory as the phase of life cycle assessment involving the compilation, co quantification of inputs and outputs for a product throughout its entire life cycle. The next question is When did LCI become part of ISO standard 14040? Is it December 2005? Or is it January 2006? October 2006 or is it October 2005? Which one do you think is the answer? The answer is LCI become part of ISO standard 14040 during October 2006. Thank you so much for spending your time to watch this video. I hope that you find this video useful and informative. That's all from me today. Thank you again and see you later.